U.S. President Joe Biden is making a last-ditch appeal to Congress to provide funding for Ukraine. American military support for the government in Kyiv is set to run out soon if no agreement is reached. Republicans in Congress are tying the issue to new funding for a wall at the border with Mexico. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky had been due to take part in a congressional briefing on funding, but cancelled at the last minute. Armed Forces Day in Ukraine. On his way to pay tribute to fallen soldiers, President Zelensky vows victory in the war with Russia. It's been difficult, but we've persevered. It's not easy now, but we're moving on. No matter how difficult it is, we'll get there. To our borders, to our people, to our peace. A fair peace, a free peace, against all odds. But Ukraine is facing a number of problems. Its counter-offensive has not been as successful as hoped, and financial and military support from the West is dwindling. Kyiv depends on US and NATO support to reach next year's military goals. US President Joe Biden remains committed to Ukraine, despite facing opposition at home. Congress needs to pass supplemental funding for Ukraine before they break for the holiday resources. It's as simple as that. Frankly, I think it's stunning that we've gotten to this point in the first place. While Congress, Republicans in Congress are willing to give Putin the greatest gift he could hope for and abandon our global leadership, <clears throat> not just in Ukraine, but beyond that. Washington has recently signaled it will run out of funds to support Ukraine, as long as the Republican-controlled Congress continues to block a multi-billion dollar aid package. Kyiv says it needs at least $42 billion, but has secured less than a third of this so far. Let's get more from our correspondent, uh, Benjamin Alvarez uh, Gruber in Washington. Welcome, uh, Benjamin. So what is the holdup here? President Biden's accused Republicans of playing chicken with America's national security. That's right, and he's saying that they are taking um, funding for Ukraine hostage for what he called extreme uh, border policy. We have Mike Johnson, who is the Speaker of the House of Representatives, where Republicans have a majority what he has said by also dismissing this letter that the White House sent, um, stressing that we're running out of time and we need to get this supplemental approved as soon as possible. He dismisses saying that any efforts by the Biden administration when it comes to national security should start with the border. So for them, it's important to stress that too. What Biden said in this remarks uh, only recently that the border system indeed, and I quote, is uh, it's broken, a broken border system that more needs to be done. But he also said that it's stunning that we actually made it to this point where we have these differences in the House of Representatives with Republicans saying that if we want to approve the supplemental with aid, not only for Ukraine, but also for Israel, for Taiwan, for the Indo-Pacific, uh, the U.S. needs uh, to focus on border issues now. So that's why the U.S. US president uh, stressed that this will be a gift. That's also what uh, John Kirby, the spokesperson of the National Security Council, uh, said earlier today that this will be a Christmas gift uh, for Vladimir Putin. Is this is not approved and this is uh, supplemental is stalled in Congress and can then get uh, to Ukraine. Right. So what happens next? So there will be a vote. There will be a vote at the Senate floor. We have some Republicans who are also saying and also stressing that it's important that the U.S. continues um, sending military equipment uh, to Ukraine. We also have a high-ranking uh, delegation from Ukraine who is in Washington, also meeting with Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin, also high-ranking uh, members of uh, the State Department to get this um, over as soon as possible. Soon there will also be recess in both chambers, so the House of Representatives and also the Senate to get this uh, through as quickly as possible. But the White House has sent out this letter warning saying we're running out of time. We need that right now. They said that uh, the Department of State had used 97 percent of this funds uh, that it had um, completely over since or until uh, mid-November. So saying that this needs to get and that there needs to be a bipartisan agreement to send uh, this funds to Ukraine, but also mentioned also other countries that will that will need that. And, President Joe Biden had a meeting earlier today with G7 leaders, and that's why he said that the global leadership that the U.S. wants to show 
is so important because what will other countries say if the US is not sending any more weapons to Ukraine, being the biggest country and the biggest suppliers of weapons uh, to Ukraine who is facing uh, the Russians' aggression for several years now?